We are using something that is currently a nuisance, basically, to, for value-added, development of value-added products. The type of research that we're doing in this particular project is on the sargassum. Now, many of us have seen the sargassum all over the place on all of our shorelines, and the idea is that we want to be in a position to find out what we can do with it, what use can we put to this sargassum so that it doesn't become a threat to the tourism sector anymore, and it has some type of application. That is the real purpose of the research work that we're doing here. What we did was to collect the sargassum and seaweed. There were three different subspecies, two species, sargassum turtles and sargassum natans one, sargassum natans eight. What we did was to collect them, send them, and then from that, we did some elemental analysis on it. We also did work on the, bi on the chemical composition, as in what kind of sugars could we extract from this. There was also some work done in terms of the chemical components that were in the soil gas. So the soil gas was collected here in Jamaica on the Palisades from the Palisades strip. It was taken back to the lab where we sorted it. From this we got two different species, the Sargassum Puritans and the Sargassum Natans. There are two subspecies of Sargassum Natans, and this is the Sargassum Natans 1 and the Sargassum Natans 8. What we found from our observation was that the Sargassum Puritans was in more abundance than the Sargassum Natans. After this, we then attempted to extract some of the compounds to extract some of the seaweeds and to send a sample over to the University of York in the UK. We looked at the trying to quantify the salicylic glucose in the sargassum species. We also attempted to quantify, we also quantified the 12 common sugars that are found in brown seaweed. And there were also some elemental work done and looking at, and also some other scientists who looked at the phenol composition. In the Caribbean, we are plagued by various types of cancer. These include colon cancer, breast cancer, and prostate cancer. So these are the three main cancer cells that we normally use in our bioassays. We also look at various microbial Biases. Right. And so that is the future work that we're planning at this moment to do with this, uh, with this sargassum extract, looking at how we can use the extract and the compounds extracted thereof to research in terms of cancer work. So in terms of the benefits to the nation, you know, as we would have seen all of this on our shorelines, you know, one of the challenges is to get rid of it, to how do we, how do we dispose of it. So there, there's a whole lot of cost that's associated with disposal and generating landfills, etc. And so the idea is obviously if we can do something, there's some application like, you know, in terms of ethanol production that we can do, use it for, then there is clearly benefit to the country where that is concerned. So we are using something that is currently a nuisance, basically, to, for value added, development of value added products. So even in terms of the chemistry of the extracts, the idea thereafter is to evaluate if any of those molecules, any of those compounds that, they, that are produced by this particular organism, if they can be, can have any type of value added value in terms of antioxidants, in terms of anti-cancer, chemicals, etc. So the benefits are actually very, very tremendous because we want to be able to be in a position to say, what can we do with it? You know, so it's one thing to, to have it as a challenge and you know, to overcome the challenge using science, that is the vision.